One way to make using Theta a little bit easier is to take advantage of the keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys that are provided. Instead of clicking on the buttons on the screen, each key has an associated keyboard shortcut. So this quick video is to go over some of those shortcuts. The first shortcut is to present the stimulus. In the audiometer, you can hold down the spacebar to present the stimulus. Be sure to keep it held down for at least three beeps or you'll get a flag. To record thresholds, you can save a threshold by pressing enter and you can delete a previously saved threshold by using the delete key. The stimulus can be adjusted using the arrow keys. The up and down arrow keys affect the stimulus level by raising it five or decreasing it by five dB at a time. The left and right arrows decrease and increase the frequency of the stimulus. The transducer can also be changed using hotkeys. You can use A for air conduction and B for bone conduction, or you can click T to toggle between transducers. You can also change the test ear using R for the right ear, L for the left ear, or E for ears to toggle between the two ears. Masking is also controlled using hotkeys. You can turn it on and off with the M key and raise and decrease the level using the page up and page down buttons. Speech testing has its own set and you can turn on speech testing using the S key and then you can mark word recognition scores as correct or incorrect using the C and I hotkeys. There are some specialty ways to save thresholds. You can click N for no response, V for vibrotactile response, or D to mark a masking dilemma. You can hover your mouse over any of the buttons on the virtual audiometer and the associated hotkey will show up in a little text box. That's all we have. You can also find the shortcuts in the appendix one of the user manual. Most importantly, have fun using Theta and we'll see you next time.